Let's create another viewpoint here by clicking this Add Name View icon at the bottom left by the tabs. Now we're in this view, but I'm going to make a different viewpoint by moving the camera and the Navigate View palette to the left. Now you can click the Save Viewpoint button at the top of the ribbon. You can see that when you click it, a preview thumbnail is added in the Navigate View palette. So now if we go to the Movie Configuration area, we can click Manage, right click in the drop down, and click Modify. We can see all the viewpoints with their names in the bottom panel, and we can add the viewpoints to the movie frames. We can also apply these viewpoints for different renderings. I want to match this viewpoint with the sunset rendering I have. This sunset is currently at a slightly different angle. So to make them match, I'll go back to the rendering with the correct viewpoint and save this viewpoint as viewpoint 8. I can see that viewpoint 8 has been added to the thumbnails. Now I'll go back to the sunset rendering and I'll apply viewpoint 8. So now these viewpoints will align correctly. And I'll click back to the original perspective so you can see how the two are matched up. 